Hey guys, how are you tonight? Um, hopefully we get some people on here soon. Hop on, I didn't do, usually I at least give you a heads up that I'm getting ready to go live, but this was the live that almost wasn't because I got over here and realized that my computer was back at the house because I had computer trouble this morning. I have a computer at the house and I have a computer here at the shop, but the computer at home this morning was causing me trouble and it's the one I do my online classes on. And so I came over here and got this one so I could do my class this morning. And then when I got over here, I realized I had forgotten to get it and bring it back. So when you hop on, say hello and let me know that you're there. If you're watching the replay, let me know that you're watching the replay so I know that somebody else saw this. Um, and say, hey, even if you're on the replay, just say, hey, I'm on the replay. How are you? And I love it if you can catch me live sometime, all right? So a couple, we've got three little quick projects. We're gonna be pretty quick tonight. Um, they're all pretty um, smooth sailing little projects, okay? So I think I'm gonna get the biggest one out of the way first just to have more room on my table. So I'm gonna turn you guys down. Now, y'all, this transfer is retired but i believe that i still have a couple of them so if you decide that hey i would really like to have that transfer this is a d size transfer and like i said i believe i still have a few of them and it looks like i have because this should be an 18 by 18 so i think i have another thankful that's really big and pretty somewhere that is not in with this and i don't know where it's at so I need to find that. It's probably laying in the floor in my in my room where all my transfers are. I put my transfers back in the bag, and then I use these little loopy doop things at the top and put them through a hanger, and that's what I use. I use a hanger. So as you're hopping on tonight, let me know you're there. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Lynn. Um, and um, we will get started. I just realized I forgot my wax, and I do need wax on this right here. It's the only thing I need wax on, but anyways, here we go. Hey, Lisa. Let's see. Thanks, Lynn. And Lisa, I have some stuff I've got a pile started to get ready to mail to you, but I was going to tell you, I, the rooster was supposed to be retired, but I just went in the back office just now, or I was just online pulling, um, like, the... You know the web addresses if you wanted to shop from what we're doing tonight and the rooster is still available so you may want to buy that with your own um thing so the other thing guys is i still have i think room for one or two well it depends on if i get some more my orders in one of my order finally shipped today and so i've gotten like three orders in since last wednesday y'all hey christy and so I've placed three orders. So one of them finally shipped today with my new transfers. And that's what I can't wait to get those because I'm seeing everybody else with all their new stuff. And I'm like, I want my new transfers too. So anyways, they should be here soon. But we are having a online party on May the 4th. We're having an online class because, you know, we can't get in and do our classes right now. Hey, Maria. Hey, Jeanette. Um, we can't get in and do our classes right now, but you know what? Here's the thing. The online classes opens it up to everybody. So I may continue to do those even after we're allowed to go back out into the world again. Um, but we're doing the little houses and I think I've got a couple of spots left for that. I need to send those of you that are on my list. I am going to send you a PayPal invoice this week. Now that I know that my stuff is coming. I was waiting until I got the, hey, we shipped your things. Um, and so I am going to do that. So I have a few more spots left for that, but I need to know who that is. Not yet, but I'm going to send the invoice soon now that I my stuff has finally shipped. I was a little getting a little worried. All right, so Archie obviously cut this out. And, um, oh, yes, Lisa, you need to get your stuff. Order a set of houses and the love brings us home transfer and then you can use whatever cut paste you want and um 
Lisa's a designer, so she's ordering her own stuff. That's why the rest of you that are doing it with me, I'm going to ship you a party in a box. And then Lisa, I'll send you some of the little add-on things, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do is... This transfer is retired, but I believe that I have some of these left. So if you want this, it has a blessed and a thankful that are kind of this big. And then a blessed and a thankful that are small. Like here's the other blessed. Um, but it is no, it's retired. And then Archie cut me out this USA. And I've been saving it because I did order some of the USA stuff. Hey, Peggy. Um... Well, Nancy, you know where I got this board. Mr. Archie cut this board out for me. Um, he, um, anyway, so I was saving it, and then I thought, Joe, why are you saving it? It's not like you don't have access to get as many of them as you want. So I was like, let's just go ahead and use it because I love it. And he does need to put a hanger on the back of it. So, and I think it, Peggy, was it you that asked me the other day for an Iowa that I need to add with your stuff when it comes in? Put you one of, which one is it, Lisa, you want me to put you in a pile? One of these transfers? Okay, the blood. All right, I'll need to go look and see afterwards. I think I've got at least one or two more of these. All right, so I'm going to just use navy blue on this, guys. Um, and this is the morning sky. I'm not sure that morning sky is still a color. You know, they change the colors in and out, but there are some dark blues out there right now. Cadet is a dark blue that's available right now. Y'all, this paste is beautiful right here. Perfect. Exactly what we need. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of paste on this. This is going to be quick and easy done. I, um, like I said, was thinking I was going to wait for some of the new 4th of July transfers that are coming out. And then I was like, you have two of these boards. I don't know what you're waiting on. And you can have more of these boards made any day that you want. So, I went ahead and decided tonight we were going to do this. Because even though we're in the middle of all this mess right now, this is going to pass. And we are surely blessed to be here and not somewhere else. There are lots of other places in the world. And I thank the Lord every day that I am where I am. Because we have things so much easier than other people. We are so very lucky just because we live here um nothing else to it other than that you know so all right so let me get this blue off and i am hearing my i'm hearing my transfer move a little bit but it's because this board has um those slats in it so i'm a little worried a little leery but i think i'll be fine as long as it didn't bleed through where the slats are um all right, I just wanted to get that blue off because the blue, I'm telling you, y'all, it will take you over. And there it is. Look how pretty that, yep, you can see I did have a few smudges, did have a few little smudges, and I will show you if I brought that over here with me. Um, those may be, I was looking to see if I have, oh yeah, I have them. I have some Q-tips. Let me see if I can get, sometimes the blue, you know, it's a little, now I will say these Q-tips are the ones that are, um, they have the really pointy ends. Uh, let's see. That is the truth. Yes. All right. I will look and see what I have on the transfers. Hey, shall we? Hey, Amy. All right. So let me see if I can. Clean up a little bit of where I had. I mean, I knew it was happening as I was doing it because I heard the, I heard the squeak through or the, the little bubble as it was coming through. I heard it. So now the good news is, is that I did wax this board, so I should be able to get it up. Um, the other thing is, is that it also is kind of taking the paint up. But this is just a whitewash on this board. I just took a. A white brush and brushed it a little bit so you know it doesn't matter if it gets a little more distressed because y'all know me now I like distressed all right so there we go quick easy done look how nice that is all right
quickly out of the way. There we go. I like that. And so there's some really cute, some of the new 4th of July things. Oh, y'all, we're at 13. Woohoo! Hey, Tammy. Y'all keep, keep sprinkling and sprinkling and let's see how far we can get up to tonight. All right, so there's the blessed. I love that. And I will check. Lisa and Peggy, y'all want to check to see what I have in that? And I will do that. All right. Now, moving on. Okay, so here's what we're going to do next. Let me just move things out of my way. We've got two more projects. And like I said, all of our stuff tonight is relatively quick. I just want to give you a couple more ideas on this little watermelon. Because some of you ordered the watermelon set. And if you don't, if you still want that, I ordered extras. I am waiting on my transfers to come in. But I have the stuff cut up and everything ready to go to make those sets. So if you want a set of the things to make the watermelon board, that's in my VIP group. Just let me know. But I want to show you something else you can do with this watermelon. Thank you guys for sprinkling. I appreciate that. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this watermelon, y'all. And what I'm going to do with this watermelon is I am, I did not bring any, oh, that's all right. Remember, we I found, I have my other little tape over here. Um, I'm telling you one thing, using this washi tape, though, is not a good, is not a good idea for, it's an expensive way to, um, I need to bring my cheap tape back. All right, so what I want to do is this. I want this to be like a watermelon wedge. So I am going to only do like that. So I'm just going to make a watermelon wedge. So if you get the watermelon transfer, you don't have to do the whole watermelon. So I brought my same colors over from the other night because I liked them for the watermelon. So, and I'm working on the foam, guys. This foam is super duper cool to work on. It gives you a nice 3D effect so that even if you don't have, this needs a little water, it's a little dry. Even if you don't have the wood cutouts, that's all right. You can do the foam and do it on that foam and you can get the same, well, not exactly the same, but you can still get a 3D look without having to do it on wood if you don't have the wood cutouts. If you don't have an Archie that can just cut out whatever you want to, then you can definitely do these on foam. All right, so now let me think about how we did this again. We said it was kind of pinker here and redder at the top, right? Isn't that what we said? So I'm gonna get me a little bit of pink and then I'm gonna get me a little bit of red and then I'm going to I'm gonna ink, not ink. I'm going to paste this pink in just a little bit. And then I'm going to pull the red down to meet it. And then right there kind of where they meet, I'm going to kind of go back and forth both ways. So that I get that just a little bit darker. All right, so there's that part done, and don't put that back into your paste containers because you mixed those. All right, and then I need to get my greens, and I need to get on with it because I don't want that to dry. I will say, though, it takes a little bit longer to dry on the phone, so you do have a little bit of time. All right, so then we're going to take the green, and I'm going to do this a little differently this time. You know how some of them watermelons have um, the, the little color... You know what I'm talking about? How they kind of alternate colors on their greens? Somebody tell me they know what I'm talking about. Say, yes, Jill. I, you got it, girl. You got it. All right. So now I'm just going to take and I'm going to try not to get my paste colors mixed, but I think I am. But that's all right. So I'm just kind of putting that green in there. And now I'm going to go in and at my last step, Kind of mix all those greens so I get a little bit of depth with that green. Oh, I missed some people. Hey, Casey. Oh, yay, you bought some foam. Hey, Cheryl, what color is the pink? The pink is, I believe it's the new pink grapefruit. Yes, it's hard to read on the bottom of those things sometimes. 
They are stripes. Some of them are like that. That's what I'm thinking too. All right, so let me pull that up. See, you've got just a cute little wedge. So we're going to make another wedge so that later this week, what we're going to do is I'm going to figure out a project to do with these wedges. I haven't figured out the project yet. So I'm going to lay that aside and I'm going to show you how to clean your transfer. So what you're going to do to clean your transfer is now we are going to take Lysol wipes. No baby wipes on your transfers, guys, okay? Now remember, if we get to 25 one night, we will get two people out to draw out on Sunday. So if you are not a designer and you sprinkle, that means S-H-A-R-E, and you let me know, then your name will go into a drawing to get a goodie bag mailed to you. Christy, I got to get your goodie bag together because I'm going to meet you sometime tomorrow, right? It'll need to be afternoon because I have to teach in the morning, you know. Um, and the, the last two days, y'all, my mornings, that online teaching is taking up too much of my time. Um, my crafting time, it's been... It's been a little rough the last couple of days with the online teaching. Very busy. Hey, Lisa. Oh, you're welcome, Cheryl. Hey, Nancy. All right, so now we're going to lay this over here out of the way again. And I'm going to use my washi tape again because I, you can definitely, guys, I would even suggest that you use um, painter's tape to do this because it's cheaper. It's definitely a cheaper tape to do this with. Now, I'm going to make this little wedge a little bit narrower. I don't know why. Oh, I lost y'all for a second. A little bit narrower. I hit the wrong button. I was, I was going over to my website shop, apparently. All right. So, now I'm going to put a little pink. I got a little pink up there where the red should be. If that's okay. Put a little red. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of mix these together. I'm going to put a little bit of this pink back while I can. All right. And then I'm going to get my red. And then I'm just going to start kind of mixing them together to get that kind of, um, you know, if you're trying to mimic something in nature, in nature there's always some highs and lows and stuff. And so your colors are not always going to be um, just a solid red or a solid pink, or you know what I'm saying? So when you're doing greenery and stuff on a transfer, one tip that I have for you on that is to always take two colors of green and mix them kind of together, okay? Now, our last thing that we're doing today, as soon as I get through with this, is we are going to do a home decor thing with a candle, and I think it's going to be really super cute. It's kind of beachy, too. We're going to work with some of the beachy stuff transfers. And I did say beachy stuff. Okay. And I again have paste on me. So I'm going to hold this hand out over here so I don't get paste everywhere. And I'm going to kind of just go through and do the same thing. Stripe the bottom of this. Now I'm going through. I went to baby wipes to clean off my hands and stuff because the Lysol wipes. Which, it was that way anyways. Ever since we moved here, my hands, I have a hard time with them getting too dry. And my mom had the same problem. My fingers up near my fingernails will just split wide open. And they hurt so bad. And the Lysol wipes were not helping. And so, I went to baby wipes. There we go. That, so, I've got me two little wedges. So I'm going to put this on the backer and then just clean it in water in a little bit. Close up these because I don't need them anymore. I may wish I had gotten a shimmer over here now. Oh no, we're down to 12. Y'all need to sprinkle us well so we can get back up there. All right, when this dries, I'm going to take a chalk marker and fill in the seeds, okay? So I'm going to lay that down right here so I can get back to that in a minute. I don't think I have to clean any more transfers tonight while we're working. The rest of them can be done in the water. I didn't even use the little sweet summer, but I will say these little words are perfect to use separate. Don't, don't get your head wrapped around just using them for what the transfer that they're with. You can always use the words and things like that in separate 
with separate stuff. All right, so here we go. Let me get things out of my way so that I have plenty of room. For some reason, are y'all still there? For some reason, I can't tell. The comments are acting kind of weird now. Do I still have some people there? All right, so now I have this candle. This is just like when I bought Hobby Lobby or whatever. And I just wrapped some jute around it. And y'all, this was from, I don't know when, because look, look, it's not even wrapped anymore. So I think that's where I started wrapping it. So let me just take it off and we'll, um, we'll try this again. So I'm just going to take this and wrap it a little bit cray cray around a couple of times. And then I'm going to tie it. And then, and then, and then I'm going to cut this part off. Like, I don't even know what that was for. I just went and pulled this out of my, I have a closet with stuff like this in it. So that when I need them for whatever I'm doing. So I just tied like a little bow with that. Oh, good. All right. So it's still, you're still there. I just, it's like the um, comments are like fading out or something. All right, so this is just a cheap canister that I got at Walmart, y'all. And you probably could get something very similar at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take our, if you remember, we did these the other day. I think we did the starfish the other day. I'm going to do the other shell. And I am going to fuzz this because it has not been used yet. And I, or maybe it has been. I, yeah, I used it once just to, Archie cut these out for me too. But I haven't done anything with the cutouts yet. So I do have cutouts for the shell and the starfish, but I haven't done anything with them. All right, so the highest I saw tonight, we got 17. Anybody seen us get higher than 17 tonight? Hey, Kathy. All right. So I'm just going to take this and just put this on. Whoops, I might want to put it. Looks like I'm going to be just a little bit off. My not going to get the whole thing, but that's all right. All right, and I'm just going to use black. But you could really use any color that you wanted to on this. I could have even brought over a shimmer and done the... Um, you know, the sponge method on the top of it. I kind of really like that, the way those spongy methods are working lately. Y'all, we're not even using the dryer or the glue gun tonight. How about that? No dryer and no glue gun at all tonight. I'll say that and then I'll be like, oh, let me, let me just glue this on right here. All right, so. And like I said, these little glass jars you can get anywhere. Um... You can get them at the Walmart. That's how we say it in the South, y'all that are not from the South. We say the Walmart. You can get it at the Walmart. You can probably get them at the Dollar Tree. I know you can get them at the Hobby Lobby. Oh, when Hobby Lobby opens. Here's what I'm going to have a hard time with. When, when we are allowed to go back out, there are three things that I am dying to do. Number one, I need my hair cut. Number two. And, my co and colored. I need my hair cut and colored. Number two, I need to go see my family. Which, if I go see my family, then my sister might do my hair for me. Because that's what she does. But she might be busy. And then, I need to go to the Hobby Lobby. Alright. So, I have a little something on the back of that. But that's alright. Okay, so there that is. And then, here's what we're going to do with this, this little piece of decor. There it is. So I have this sand that I found the other day. So I'm just going to put the sand in the bottom of this. Oh, that might be plenty. But the sand got away from me because I know that my, my candle, I was going to put the lid back on this, but as deep. As I poured that sand, I might not be able to put the lid back on this. Oh, I missed some comments. Put it at an angle. Whoops. Put it. Uh, yeah, I can do that. 
We can do it at midnight. Okay. So my sister says she can do my hair at midnight when I come. All right. So, and they got, I also have a Tennessee that I have not seen yet, a new fur nephew. And his name is Mello. And every time I call, all I hear is, oh, yes, that exactly would work. Um, and then I have this box of shells that I found. And I'm just going to drop some of them down. And then we'll all pretend that we're in Florida at the beach, not getting the corona. Um... I'm just going to drop some of these down in here. Oh, y'all, I just thought of something else we should do. I don't know if I, I need to turn these over. I might have just found a new use for the multi-tool. It's for flipping over your seashells. And I have somewhere in my stash. I just don't know where they are. I have some big old starfishes, too. But we haven't moved all of my crafty stuff over here yet, so I need to go look. They're, they're probably still in my craft room mess that's at the other house when we get, that I need to move everything around. All right, so we're just going to throw in some shells. So see how cute it's looking? And then now that I'm thinking about it, okay, now I can do this because my candle is one of those battery operated candles so i'm just putting my the jar lid on it but you know what would be cute which i did not plan for so i do not have the things out to do this but what would be cute with this is to put a little tag on look at that wouldn't that be adorable okay let's see um let's do this guys let's do partial of this uh not sunflower this is definitely not a sunflower let's do a little bit of this starfish just a little bit let's see how much starfish i can get on here i want to get enough on it so that we can tell that it's a starfish Ooh, maybe like that Where's that black? Okay, so let's take this black and we'll do, I need a little water. It needs a little water when I went the first time, but I just pushed through even though it still needs a little water. All right, so I got, I think we got up to 17 today. So tomorrow will be an early, because remember tomorrow is my mass singer night. So um, I will try to give a warning tomorrow and let's see tomorrow. Can we get to 20 tomorrow night? Can we get to 20 tomorrow night? We'll see. What do you guys think? Can we get to 20 maybe? I would love to get to 25 or so. All right. And like I said, I'm working on getting a new software program so you can see me at the same time that I'm working. You can go, oh, you can? I did not know that. But yes, those are my three things that I want to do. Hobby Lobby, my family, and get my hair cut. This kind of looks like a flower, y'all. I'm not sure. But there we go. See, isn't that cute? Let me move it where you can, I'm turning it the wrong way. There we go. There's our little, there's our little, candle well bless my heart there we go there's my little candle jar and this is easy breezy to do cute little stuff to to just throw together didn't take me very much time i had you probably have if you're a crafty person you probably have some seashells laying around you know what i mean and probably some tags from the hobby lobby right what time tomorrow um Normally on these days, I try to go around sometime between 3 and 5, Sherry. I'll try to do a better job of saying, hey, I'm getting ready to go live. All right, so I think these all turned out really cute. We ended up with three. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to put our little, our little 
seeds in our watermelon that we did on foam. This is a marker. Um, see, I have black all over me. This is our chalk marker. They come in a black and white set. And they come in a silver and gold set. And I will just say, as I'm just sitting here thinking and my little candle is just flashing right beside me, I wouldn't put quite so much sand in yours. Because I had to take it out of the sand to turn the candle off. So I will say I need to take some sand out of there. Because it's going to be a pain in the bootay to turn it on and off and put it back in there. But these little markers are cute, are great for little accent pieces. So I will cut these out and try to figure out something so that we can do with these cute. I have um, a crocodile thing that I can put a hole in them with. And we can make little tags out of them, I think. So you guys have a great night. I'll see you sometime tomorrow afternoon. Um, and we'll see. Who knows what we'll end up with tomorrow. But like I said, my new stuff did ship today. And I don't know if it was in the first order. But y'all, I went ahead and ordered that birdhouse and those bird transfers. Because I know everybody else likes them but me. So I thought we would do some things with the birds. As long as I don't have a panic attack while I'm chalking the birds. We'll be all right. So, you guys have a great rest of your night. Um, that's right. I may just leave it on to the battery dies. That may be what happens. The only thing is, is will that sand and then batteries cause trouble if I just leave it on for forever? Oh, yes. You probably did. You absolutely, if you've got a gazillion shells. Um, anyways, you guys have a good night. I had a great time tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.